Hello, my name is Joella. I'm with UMBC Rec. We're going to do a 50 minute total body conditioning workout today. So please make sure you are listening to your body as we move through our workout. I'll show some modifications, but if anything doesn't feel right, if anything's painful, please skip it. And please make sure you've checked with the healthcare provider before starting a new exercise routine. So for our workout today, um, we are going to do a few exercises that are going to use um, like dumbbell hand weights. So if you have some at home, grab them. If not, you can use um, two water bottles, two soup cans, anything that you can comfortably hold in your hands that weigh the same. Um, you can also do these exercises without weights and only like, I want to say half of the exercises we're doing today use weights. So you'll be fine either way if you have them or if you don't. Um, also, if it's more comfortable for you, you can have an exercise mat. Um, I may or may not use one uh, as we work out because I'm on carpet, so it's a little more comfortable. But if you're on hard floor, you're definitely going to want something um, for when we come down to the floor. Uh, so today we're going to start with about a five minute warm up. We're going to move into our main set, which we're going to do um, a ladder or a pyramid, whatever you want to call it, um, where we're going to do eight reps the first set, 10 reps the second set, 12 the third, and then back down to 10 and eight on the fourth and fifth uh, sets. So it's seven exercises. We're going to repeat those same seven exercises each set. Um, and again, I will show some modifications. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're going to do 30 seconds um, of each exercise. I have a timer here. I'm going to start. It's going to count us down. And we're going to start with heel taps. So 30 second tapping the heel forward, hips shift back just a dynamic stretch of the back of your legs. So just nice and controlled. Spine stays long, I'll give you a side view here. So the front leg is straight, back leg is bent, hands just at your hips. And then right away when we're done with this, we're gonna go to knee lifts. It's right here, you're gonna hug the front knee in warming up the hip flexors, beginning to stretch the hips again. Again, it's a dynamic stretch, so we're not holding halfway there. All right, this time we're gonna bring the heel towards the glute. So again, a dynamic stretch of our quadriceps and warming of the hamstring, the back of the leg. Fifteen more seconds. And you don't even have to like catch the foot like I am. You can just lift the leg up, heel towards the glute if that works better for you. All right, now we're going to bring the inner ankle up. So we're externally rotating the leg and opening it up a little bit to the side to warm the outer hip. And again, if you can't quite reach your leg, stay standing up tall and just bring the heel up towards the center. All right, we're gonna step wide, arms open out. Bring the left leg behind as the arms come across your body, out and behind. So beginning to warm the shoulders here, moving a little quicker, stretching across the chest. So alternating which arms on top each time you come in. So this next exercise, lower body is going to stay exactly the same, but the arm is going to come up. So the leg that's going behind is the arm that comes up. So just getting a nice side stretch here. We're going to step wide and arms are going to come across. Sorry, I did that awkwardly. <laughs> Bringing the arm across your body, the toe taps out. So right arm comes across, right arm taps or leg taps. So we're uh, a little twist through the spine. Again, starting to move a little bit quicker, 
warming up the spine. All right, you're gonna do a modified jack. So toe taps out, arms come up overhead. And again, you can make this a little quicker. This is a modified jumping jack. So anytime we do jacks, which we are gonna do some today, you can do this instead. Just a low impact version. All right, and then we're gonna do a little boxer shuffle. So you're just switching your weight from one foot to the other. Don't think about it too much. There's almost like a little jog. We're going to do jumping jacks. So you can go back to that modified jack that we did a moment ago or hop it out and in. Arms up overhead. Now, if you have any sort of shoulder thing going on and it's better for you, you can keep your hands at your hips. Or again, take that tap instead of the hop. that was our warm-up moving into our main set we're going to start with a push-up and a leg raise so coming down to the floor hands wider than shoulder distance right underneath of your shoulders so in line with your shoulders I'm sorry but a little bit wider than shoulder distance leg behind you long line from the crown of the head to the toes or bringing the knees down long line from the crown of the head to the knees we're going to do push-up Leg lifts, leg stays straight, reach out to the heel, sit it down, other side. And this is seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, bringing it down. We're gonna roll over onto our backs, grab your weights. We're gonna do a chest press with a glute bridge. So arms are gonna come out, wrists right on over top of elbows. So you're in like a goal post kind of shape. And then those weights are in line with your sternum. Feet, hips, distance apart, heels underneath the knees. Sorry, I have a hair clip in the back of my head. It's not gonna work in this position. All right. <laughs> Uh, we're going to lift the hips up as we press the arms up. We're eight, scooping the tailbone under. Seven, rooting down to the whole foot. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, coming back up to stand. We're gonna do a lunge with a knee lift. So option to hold those weights in your hands. So they'll stay just by your side. Now we're gonna do four on each side, so eight total. And you're gonna step, let's do four on one side and then four on the other rather than alternating. So stepping back with the right foot, you're gonna lift the leg up to hip height. So step back option to tap it in before you lift this three again option to come up on the toe last one all right other side stepping it back with the left for four three two and one all right so we're gonna bring it back down to the floor. So a few options here as well. The first option is to be on all fours, weights under the hands. Um, we're gonna do rows here. Second option is to be in a plank on your knees. So long line from the crown of the head back to the knees or on all four, or in your plank position. 
So eight total, four on each side. Alternate this time for eight, seven, six, weight comes up towards the waist, shoulder blades slide together, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's see. So we're gonna stand it back up. You're gonna take one weight in your hand. Again, you can do any of these without weights. We're gonna externally rotate the right leg, slightly internally rotate the left leg. So you're lined up heel to arch. Both legs are straight, maybe a little micro bend there, hugging all of the muscles in towards the bone. Left hand's gonna come up right above the left shoulder. Right hand is gonna trace down the inside of that left leg. Focus on keeping the spine long. I'm sorry, that's your right leg. Uh, and hinging from that right hip. So we're gonna go down and back up for four, three, two, and one. Okay, other side. I like to think of lifting the weight up as the rest of my body goes down. That way I know the weight's not like coming over with me. Here we go. For eight, or I'm sorry, four, three, two, and one. All right. So we're gonna do a plie squat with a lat raise. So legs wide, toes and knees pointing out to the side. You're gonna come down to the center with the weights out and up like a capital X for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights come down. Now take one weight, we're gonna do some hay bales. You're gonna bring that weight out to the outside of the left knee as you squat down, so heel, hips come back. Come up towards the right, left heel lifts. Okay, four, three, two, last one. Other side. So down to the right, up to the left for four, three, two, one. All right, let's see, how are we doing with time? Let's take it back up to the top. So we're gonna do those push-ups with the leg raise. So we're moving up to 10 total of each of these exercises. So remember your options on your knees or your toes. You could even do these um, on like the bottom step in your house, a curb if you're working out outside um, to decrease the incline in your push-up. So just make sure when you're putting your hands on something that it's stable. It's not something that's gonna slide out from under you. So here we go. 10 push-ups with the leg raise. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, bring it down. We'll stand up and we're gonna do Oh no, I'm sorry, we're going to our backs. We're not standing up. The glute bridge with the chest press. So feet hips distance apart, heels under the knees, feet parallel to each other. As you lift the hips up, you're gonna scoop the tailbone under so your low back is long, weights right in line with your sternum. Here we go. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. All right, now we're standing it up. We're gonna do those lunges with the knee lifts. So it'll be five on each side. We'll do five on the right first, five on the left second. Remembering your modifications so you can um, tap the foot in before you bring the knee up. You can just bring it straight up. You can bring it up and come up onto the ball of the opposite foot. So your choice, here we go. We'll do five. Challenge our balance a little. Four. Three, you can do this with or without the weights. Two. And one. Other side. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Next, we're gonna do those renegade rows. All right, so shoulders, hands under shoulders, on your toes or in, um, you know, plank on your knees or all fours position. I'm gonna modify and switch to plank on my knees this time, shoulder blades sliding together. And you can bring your knees a little wider apart to kind of give yourself a wider base and that's gonna keep your hips from wiggling back and forth, or it's gonna help but engage your core to kind of stabilize that as well. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, moving on, we're gonna do the uh, triangle. So externally rotate the right leg, internally rotate the left leg, line up heel to arch, hug the muscles into the legs, left arm overhead, right fingers traced on the right leg. Spine stays long. For five, four, three, keep those leg muscles hugging in, two, and one. Other side. 10, nine, eight, I don't know why I counted down from 10. <laughs> two more, 10 total, five each side. Last one. I went on autopilot there for a moment. All right. So we're gonna move on to the plie squat with the x-rays. Legs wide, toes and knees pointing out about 45 degrees. Now in this plie squat, it's important the hips go straight down and the chest stays lifted. So it's not like a regular squat where you're hinging forward from the hips, but your hips go straight down, chest stays lifted. All right, 10 total, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Whew. Okay, we're gonna do those hay bales. One weight, the other weight down. Five going to the left and up to the right, and then five down to the right and up to the left. So it's a squat, hips go straight back, weight comes to the outside of the knee. As you twist up to the right, left heel lifts up. Here we go. For five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, going back up to the top, starting with the uh, push-up 
with the leg raise. So we're moving on to 12. Um, make sure you're taking those modifications as we get deeper into these sets. Probably starting to get fatigued by now. Um, so here we go. On your knees or your toes, 12 push-ups, leg raise. So six leg raises on each side for 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. Last one. All right, walking the hands in, roll it over and onto the back, the bridge with the chest press. Arms out, wrist over elbows, weights in line with the sternum, feet hips distance apart. 12 of these, here we go. 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, standing up for the lunge with the leg lifts. 12 totals, so we'll do six on one side, six on the other. This time I'm gonna start with my left. Either weights in hands or no weights, either is fine. Here we go. First six. Five. Four. Taking your time. Three. Two. Last one. Other side. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All right. We're gonna do uh, the renegade rows. So plank on your knees or full plank or quadruped position. I'm gonna do the quadruped position this time. I have like a past neck injury that I'm gonna take care of here. So do what you need in your body, okay? So challenge yourself with that full uh, plank position or if you need the modification, take it. All right, either knees under hips, straight back on your knees or up on the toes. Here we go, six on each side. We'll alternate. Six. Belly's engaged, so belly button to spine. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one on each side. All right, standing it up. We're gonna do those, they call them triangle dips. I don't know if they have a real name. Externally rotate the right leg, internally rotate the left leg, weight up in the left hand, right hand traces down the right leg. Hug the leg muscles in towards the bones, hinging from the hips for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Actually rotate the left leg, internally rotate the right leg. Both legs relatively straight, maybe a micro bend there. Right hand above the shoulder. Inhale here, exhale. Six, five, that weight staying straight up towards the sky. Four, 
three, two, and one. All right. Now we're gonna do the plie squats with the x-rays. 12 total, legs wide, toes and knees pointed out. Weights come straight down to the center and up, making an X. Here we go. For 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm going to lose my weights. So you keep going. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. All right, again, listen to your body. If you have any injuries, it's so much better to modify than make them worse. So I was getting a little twinge in my neck injury, decided to put those weights down. So listen to your body. Here we go, we're gonna do those hay bales. So the weight's gonna come down to the left, up to the right, sitting the hips back into a squat. Six on each side for six. Five, core is engaged here. Four, three, two, and one. Other side, here we go, down to the right, up to the left for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we are gonna take it back up to the top of the exercises, but we're gonna start working our way back down the ladder or pyramid, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna do those push-ups with the leg raises. So taking the modification you need, moving right along here, hands, shoulder distance slightly uh, in line with your shoulders. So in line with your shoulders, but then slightly wider than shoulder distance. So on your knees, that leg lift is gonna look like extending the leg back, hovering the toes a little bit. You wanna keep your hips low. You wanna keep the leg neutrally rotated. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, so rolling onto our backs doing that chest press with the glute bridge. It's a very similar exercise to what we just did. So if you're noticing that you're fatigued on the second set, that's why. Feet hips distance apart, weights in the heels, hips scoop up or under, arms press up. Here we go. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do the lunges with the knee lifts. Five on each side, weights or no weights, your choice. Let's start with the left side again. So stepping the left leg back, left knee will come up for five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I believe we are, yep, bringing it back down for the renegade rows. So from plank, plank on your knees 
or in all fours position. Belly is engaged here, so belly button to spine. Gaze is a foot or so forward of the hand. The weight, when you lift it up, is coming back towards the waist. Shoulder blades slides together. Five on each side, here we go. For five. Four. Three. Two. Last one on each side. All right. Standing it up for the triangle dips. Weight comes to that left hand. Right leg's externally rotated. Left leg's internally rotated. Weight comes right up over the shoulder. Engage the core, hug the leg muscles in. We'll do five. Leg stays long, or spine stays long, so we're hinging from the hip. Four. And maybe that means you don't come as far down as you see me going, that's fine. Three. Two. And one. Other side. Remember, reach that top weight to the sky. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All right, we're gonna do those hay bales. Nope, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna do the plie squats with the X. So this is a lat exercise, those large muscles on your back. Again, I'm putting my weights down, but you can hold those weights in your hands. Legs, toes and knees, about 45 degrees out to the side. Hips are gonna go straight down, chest stays lifted. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring it down. Now we're doing those hay bales. So grab a weight. You're gonna bring the weight to the outside of the left leg up to the right. Five on each side for five. Four, three, two, last one. Other side. For five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we have one more set of these exercises. We're coming back down to eight reps of each one. So going to that push up with the leg raise. So only eight, last round. If we have time, we'll do a little cardio or maybe a little standing abs. We'll see how much time we have left once we get through this round. So push up, challenge yourself, last muscle conditioning round. Here we go, eight, seven, Six, five, four, you can hear I'm struggling, three, two, last one. All right, we'll end it over, glute bridge with the chest press. Eight of these. Bring down to the feet, feet, scooping the hips under so the low back is long. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, stand it up. We're gonna do the lunges with the leg lifts, either up on your toes or not. Whatever feels better for you with or without weights. Four on each side. We'll do four, three, 
two. Last one. Other side. For four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, coming down for those rows. On your knees, uh, push up like a plank position on your knees or all the way up on your toes. Here we go. Four. Belly's engaged. So hugging the muscles in. Three. Gazes. Foot or two in front of the fingers. Two. Shoulder blades slide together. Weight's coming back towards the waist. One more on each side. Finish it out strong. Awesome. All right. We're going to do this tricep dip. So one weight, standing it up. Right leg externally rotated, left leg internally rotated. Left hand over the left shoulder, spine long. Here we go. For four, three, two, last one, other side. For four, three, two, and one. All right, bring it down. We're gonna do the plie squats with the X raises. Toes and knees pointed out, hips go straight down, arms come to the center and go up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right. Hey, bales. Four to each side. We're doing good. We'll have some time for some core exercises after this. Okay. We're going to bring it down to the left, up to the right for four, three, two, last one. Other side for four, three, two, and one. All right. Awesome job in that main set. We're going to move on to some core exercises. We're going to use our timer for this. So let me just pull it up. We will do four exercises um, for 30 seconds on. And then let's see. Um, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. And we're gonna use that time that we just have those 10 seconds to switch to the next exercise. So we're gonna go from standing to on our backs. So if you are using a mat, spread it out. We're gonna start with a standing exercises. The last three will be done on the floor, but be prepared to kind of change these quickly. So uh, I'll press start. We'll have five seconds. I'll demonstrate and we'll start. So we're gonna just go from side to side. Go ahead and start. Feet about hips distance apart. A little bend in the knees, hugging the outer hips in. So the bottom half of your body is staying still, but you're hinging sideways from the waist. So hugging the core in. Eight more seconds of this. All right, quickly, so that we're ready when it goes off. Coming down onto your back. Legs are extended over the hips, arms over the shoulders with or without the weights. Head, chest, shoulders lift, and you're going to flutter the legs. So it can be a small movement here, or it can be larger, bringing the bottom leg to hover off the floor. Again, with or without these weights in your hands, head, chest, shoulders lifted. So we're lifting up to the sky, not rounding forward towards the knees. There's space between the chin and the chest. Take your time. All 
All right, let's bring those weights down, hands behind the head, basic crunch. Elbows wide, feet hips distance apart. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Everything lifts up towards the sky. knees and our hips we're gonna do a bird dog so opposite arm and leg raises inhale right arm left leg lift up to hip and shoulder height exhale sit it down other side so belly button pulls to, to towards the spine engaging the core to support the spine keeping a neutral spine here Take a little breather there we're gonna do that one more time and then cool it down so grab some water if you need a little stretch if you need so one more time starting with that um like lateral that side to side okay it's gonna count us down we have five seconds grabbing your weights or without weights feet hips distance apart a little bit in the knees hinging sideways from the waist lifting up and over. So only going as far down as is comfortable, right? If it's painful or stressful, skip it. No need. Not worth an injury. All right, coming on to your back. One, both, no weights, whatever's fine. Right over top of the shoulders legs right over top of the hips head chest shoulders lift up and you're going to flutter the legs so right leg down left leg down as quick or as slow as your body needs you can make this movement smaller right you can keep it up here whatever feels best for you space between the chin and the chest look up towards the sky so your chest is lifted up and not curling forward towards the knees All right, bring it in, weight comes down, basic crunch. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Take your time here, think about what you're doing. Hugging the muscles in as you lift. The object of the game is not to fit in as many as you can, but to Engage the muscles and build strength. All right, coming up and over onto all fours. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna reach the arm out like you're gonna shake somebody's hand and reach the leg out like you're gonna step on the wall behind you. So the toe and knee stay pointed down towards the floor. The palm faces towards the midline. Engaging the core to keep a neutral spine. Meaning we're not letting our like belly button drop down towards the floor. Awesome. All right, bring your knees wide, big toes into touch, hips to heels. Let's take a few breaths in a child's pose here. back up to all fours. Let's do a few cat cows. So deep inhale, belly button drops, tailbone lifts, collarbone broadens and shoulder blades come together on your back. And then exhale, chin to chest, belly button to spine, rounding up to the thoracic spine. One more each way. Inhale into cow. 
and exhale, cat. Inhale back to a neutral spine, tuck the toes under, lift the hips, up and back, down dog. Pausing here. So hands or shoulders distance apart, feet, hips distance apart, little bend in the knees, lengthening up towards the spine. Now, however works best in your body. You can walk your feet forward towards your hands, your hands back towards your feet, or a combination of the two, meeting in a forward fold. Now just relax the crown of your head down towards the floor. Clasp opposite elbows, gently sway from side to side. Maybe interlacing the thumbs or the hands behind the back, opening across the chest. One more breath. Exhale, gently release the arms down towards the floor. Lengthen the tailbone down and slowly roll up to stand. Bring the shoulders down and back. All right, let's do a nice lunge here. Right leg forward, left leg back. We're gonna bring the right arm across. Releasing that arm, weight shifts back to the back foot, front toes lift up, stretching the back of that right leg. Great. Weight shifts forward to the front foot, reach back for the shoelaces of the back foot. Uh, we're going to stretch our quadriceps up here. Tapping the toe down, bringing it up and over, standing figure four. Of course, if you need a little balance support, you can bring your hand to a chair, to the wall, whatever you have handy. Standing up, we'll do the other side. So left leg forward, right leg reaches back into that lunge, reaching back through the heel, tailbone lengthens down. And then we're gonna bring the um, left arm across the body, sorry. All right, releasing the arm, weight shifts to the back foot, front toes lift up, hips slide back. Stand it up, weight just towards the front foot, reach back for the shoelaces of the back foot, quadricep stretch, tailbone lengthens down. Great, toe taps down, bring it up and over, standing figure four. back up to stand. We'll take two deep breaths. Deep inhale, arms sweeping down and up. Exhale, release. One more. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed your workout. My name is Joella. I am with UBC Rec. Have a great day.